Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to World Music Encounters. The great conductor of the Cincinnati Orchestra, Louis Langray, said, Artists have a responsibility to make our planet more beautiful. Let me amplify that. Musicians have the privilege to make our planet more beautiful. That's about, that's what we're about tonight, that's why you're here, and that's why they're here. So, this is what a sold out crowd looks like uh, in church. We couldn't be happier with that. <laughs> As we know in the acoustics, the more people there are, the better it's going to sound. Um, let me just give a couple of comments and I'll introduce the band. Um, you're on the ground floor of something special. Uh, electronic communication has made us a borderless world. In this instant, in the palm of your hand, you can access K-pop from South Korea, Congolese Roomba from the DRC, or the latest bro country hit from Nashville. We live in a borderless world of popular culture. Austin is the nation's 10th largest city. We're becoming an international city, and music is the international language. Austin has grown into a global mecca for musicians of this caliber. Um, over the course of these nine concerts, we're going to prove that to you, and we're starting tonight with Atash. Um, please, I encourage you to read their bios uh, in the programs. This is a remarkable group of musicians that we're fortunate to have in Austin. On vocals, we have Mohammed Farazi from Iran. Also on vocals, Marina Barsoom of Cairo, Egypt. And violin, Roberto Riccio from Mexico. Also on violin, my friend John Moon from Boston. Jason McKinsey from Tallahassee. We have Abu Silla from Guinea, West Africa, on Balafon and Jimmy. Dylan Jones from my hometown of Big D is on bass tonight. On the sitar, we have Indrajit Banerjee from India. On guitar from Cuba, Jose Tejera. <laughs> and finally, on the drum kit, Michael Longoria from McAllen, Texas. <laughs> That's a lot of time zones on one tight stage. So, um, Chris, I want to welcome you to St. David's Episcopal Church. You are sitting in a newly renovated space where people have been making sacred music for 170 years. We just finished renovating this uh, gorgeous sanctuary. The colors are now what they were in the 1880s uh, uh, when people started worshiping here. Um, it's got uh, new wood, it has a new sound system. Uh, it's never looked or sounded better, and we just couldn't be delighted, more delighted at the serendipity that it's ready for our first concert. And finally, uh, some housekeeping details. Um, they're going to play the first set about 45 minutes, and then uh, there'll be a 15 minute uh, break. Um, and then uh, we'll come back around um, 6 o'clock, and I'm going to come back on stage and talk to a couple musicians, because uh, that's what I do. I'm a, I'm a journalist, and so we lie a lot. Um, and we'll wrap it up around 7 o'clock. Um, exit these side doors, please. That's also how you can find the water fountains and the bathrooms. Uh, and the standards, no food or drink. Since uh, silent cell phones, no flash photography, but do please take pictures and tag St. David's on social media with the hashtag WME St. David's. Uh, the link is in your program. And uh, finally, we know that um, Atash has inspired people to get up and, uh, and move their bodies to the music, and uh, we are not an uptight church, and you can do that. Be mindful of people around you, their spaces. Uh, Actually over there and in back, so try not to block too many people if you want to get up and, and dance. Thanks. Enjoy the music. <laughs> 